Lock Envy is so real right now, y'all. Let me be out. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. So as you saw, I am starting to have Lock Envy. And who am I envious of? None other than my first set of locks. I installed my first set of locks in October of 2019 and I took them down because I thought they were too big. And so I took them down, made them smaller. That was, I did it Saturday. I made them smaller on Sunday and again during the week, I made them smaller again. So, so when I started recording videos, those, that's the size, that's the perfect size I now feel is right for me. So before I thought I wanted small locks because that's all the content I was really watching while I was researching locks on YouTube. So when I saw the locks, I installed them like um, the size that I would do like regular twist out size. Not really thinking about it because I, I, I didn't even, when I installed my locks, it was kind of just a rash decision. I hadn't planned to do it. I just got up one Saturday and decided to let's start putting these twists in. And so I just did it like that. So it, it wasn't really a plan. The second time, it wasn't a plan either. <laughs> the second time wasn't a plan time either. I, I just knew I wanted locks. I was going to start them eventually, restart them eventually, I think. And it just happened that I just did it that one day. So word of caution, don't always do things on a whim. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But I feel like you know, I just needed to know what size I really wanted. Yeah, I just didn't know. And now, you know, I'm even again thinking of combining my locks because I have been um, looking at my hair and thinking, you know, these locks still look a little small. Like maybe I think with more so with my the breakage that I'm experiencing, maybe I feel like my lock size needs to be larger to maintain the high integrity of the lock because I feel like the smaller locks are, if you break a hair or lose a couple hairs, then your lock has a higher chance of just not popping off, but you know, thinning, I would say, since you've lost, since there's so much smaller amount of hair within that lock that um, if you have experienced breakage, like I'm experiencing right now, that it would be more noticeable and more detrimental to your lock. So if you have a thicker base, if you break a couple hairs, not a big deal. The lock integrity would still be maintained. So that's all just conceptual. I'm not going to make a decision as of yet as to if I want to combine my locks any further, but it is something that I am toying with the idea of. So right now I'm trying to see what happens with the breakage, if my hair grows back or if it continues to break, um, I really should make an appointment with a loctician. It's my 10 month, I'm 10 months locked down. Anniversary was February 1st. So yeah, I'm just not really envious of other, yes, I like, I have lock crushes, but I'm not envious of their hair because I know that my hair will not look like their hair. So there's no point in you being envious of someone else's hair. It's just, I've had another lock journey before. I've seen what my hair looks like before. And it's just that before, I didn't know what I had until I lost it. So sometimes you just have to appreciate what you have. Like right now, I'm appreciating the stage that I'm at and whether I leave them how they are or decide to combine further, that will be determined. I think also with my hesitance to combining also is I will have a lesser amount of locks and I feel like the lesser locks are, the bigger they, yes, the lesser locks you have, the bigger they are. But like, maybe because my head is super small, because like 200, you know, if, again, I'm getting into the, you can't compare. Do not compare because my head is not the same size as someone else's head. Someone else has 200 locks 
and their lock size could look thicker because they have more density hair or their head is bigger to hold 200 locks and I have a small head I know that my head circumference is 20.5 or 21 something like that so I know this because I used to wear wigs so you have to know your head size for wig measurement um anyway diverting so moral of the story do not compare your locks to other people's locks live your lock journey whatever feelings you are having embrace them so i'm trying to embrace this and be a stage and getting over it because i have thought about combing them out and starting over but i'm like oh, that's a lot of work i don't want to do that and then combining things with combining is your lock parts might be different I like the neatness and the, you know, the nice squares or good rectangles, nice rectangles. But again, my parts are not nice and crispy right now. So, and I am kind of over that. But I guess if I were to start over, I would have the, in my mind, the perfect size squares that I want. So <laughs> that would be the only reason to start over, to make them perfectly shape which i know unless i go to a professional i can't maintain that myself because i've already seen it my parts are not perfect from the way they were so yeah moving on so i am at the 500 subscriber mark guys thank you so much so i will be doing another video to do the giveaway rules and um see what the competition is so I will do another video on that so once again thank you guys for all the support joining me on this journey commenting liking even if you didn't like it you still said you didn't like it there's some videos I, I have um dislikes on but hey it all comes with the territory this is what you get when you come on YouTube some people will like you and then some people will not like you and hit that dislike button but you just gotta roll with it so they watched Thank you for your input. Unfortunately, this is me and this is what you get. So everybody's not going to like me. So that's just how it is. Stay positive. Enjoy the journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.